All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good seeing all of you guys on here tonight. I am uh, super uh, elated that you're taking time out to uh, join us here. I truly believe that uh, what you're going to learn tonight is going to help you because, look, they say that you have to move the cheese. By the way, just raise your raise your physical hand. Wave at me if you can hear me okay. You guys hear me okay? All right, good stuff. So um, COVID comes along. And many of us in the network marketing industry, we were used to different specific methods to build our business. And um, because of that, uh, we were in a rhythm of, Maybe we had weekly business briefings at hotels we invited people to. Maybe we did home presentations, PBRs, home parties. Maybe we did sit down presentations, one-on-one uh, -on -one or two-on-one -on -one at a Starbucks. We used to do a lot of stuff in person. Like you could go to networking events. You can shake somebody's hand, make a new friend, find a new prospect. And a lot of that changed. So a lot of people had to pivot. We moved with the cheese. And what did we do? We start trying to do the same things on social media. We go into Facebook groups or we try to meet friends of friends and network through Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. I mean, all the different platforms that have been out there for a while. And, and uh, many people are doing great doing that. But I think that there are many people. Matter of fact, just say me, just comment me below if you're ready to get back to some normalcy. Like, Maybe this is the new normal, but how many of you guys just want to be around people again? Just say me below. Like, do you just want to shake a hand? It's so weird. Like, like I, 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 I fist bump, air, air bump. I mean, like, you know, ver we bow, we genuflect. It's like, I want to get back to like being with people. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh, business opportunity events, training events. I, I want to get back to that. So um, we're getting back to that. Right, you know, we're out and about more than we have been in the last year. So um, maybe it's time for a refresher. What do you do? You know, when you when you see a prospect that's sharp, and you don't know exactly what to say, um, how do you break the ice? Um, whoever talks to the most people and gets the most presentations seen wins. And for any note takers, I want to ask you to take that note. Whoever talks to the most people and gets the most presentations seen wins. Now, it's elementary. I get it. It's logical. It's a no-brainer. I, I get that. Of course, that's, that's understood. Look, sometimes you just have to take a note. And if you're not a note taker, then I would encourage you to become a note taker. But write that down. One of the things I benefited by writing something down when my early one of my earliest mentors in my network marketing career, he said, write this down and repeat it every morning and every night, every morning and every night. And here's what I wrote down. Is it verbatim what he said to me? Here's what he said. If my downline did what I did today, how much money would I be making? If my downline did what I did today, how much money would I be making? So that's what he said. And so that's what I repeated every morning. I woke up and I read that. If my downline did what I did today, how much money would I be making? That caused me to feel like, okay, I need to go do something today. Because if I do nothing and my team does nothing, then I make nothing. Okay, so I need to go do it. So that way, if my downline does what I do today, which is a lot, then I'll make a lot. Then at the end of the night, I would read it. If my downline did what I did today, how much money would I be making? So now I can go back and reflect on the day and say, okay, how did I do? Because if I did nothing, my team does nothing, we make nothing. If I did a lot, my team does a lot, I make a lot. So that's a good note to take. And it's a good note to read every morning and every night. Trust me on this, guys. 99% of you 99% will not do that alone. And they always ask, who's they? They always ask, who's they? You, you, you ask, I know you ask this either verbally or mentally, you're always asking, who, what, 
why are some people making all the money in network marketing and I'm not? Well, well, guess what? You know, you have a mentor who says, do this every morning and every night. Just take 10 seconds to read that to yourself and make that question to your to your brain and and you're not willing to do it. Like, well, now that Brian, you're just being a little hokey. Okay, well, I don't mind being a hokey millionaire. You can be an unhokey unmillionaire if you want to. You guys cool with that? All right, good. The fair is like that. So when I'm saying whoever talks to the most people um, and gets the most presentations seen wins, it's so true. But what what stops people? So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna run run you through a an example here. Um, let's say you are um, at the gas station because we all have to pump gas into our car at some point throughout the week. So you're at the gas station and somebody drives up next to you and she's sharp. She's dressed to the nines. You're like, I would love her on my team. She'd be the next top leader. But you just mind your own business. You just pump your gas. You take your receipt, you get back in your car and you drive away feeling so just bummed out that you just didn't have the guts to say hello to her. What stopped you? What stopped you from saying hi and making a new friend and getting and, 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 and getting a new prospect? Well, it's fear. It's that false evidence, right? It's that, it's that, um, that little voice in your head that, that, that says, uh, what if she thinks I'm weird? What if she like turns the other way? What if she makes me feel stupid because she won't engage with me? Well, here's the thing. How much is that going to hurt you? It might hurt, hurt your self-esteem for about five minutes until your next favorite song comes on the radio or a song you hate comes on the radio and your brain immediately switches to, let me change it to find another station or a the phone rings or somebody cuts you off, there's going to be some trigger that's going to happen within minutes that you're going to forget the lady if she was rude to you. So the downside is minimal. What's the upside? She could be the next monster in your business. Like she could generate 10, 20,000, 30,000 a year in overrides just because you had that conversation and, and landed the right person because you know why? You got to recruit up. Always be recruiting up. Always be looking for people that are better than you. Not don't recruit down because then they're going to recruit down. They're going to recruit down. Then you're going to be having a bunch of people on your team that can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Can't tie their own shoe. I mean, you don't want that, right? You want people that are just quality people, motivated, ambitious, well spoken. They can they can lead a team. They can they can teach and train and motivate and right. So, is I, I know I'm going off on a tangent here about you know, this woman who drove, drove up to the gas pump. But my point is, if you want to build your team up, you've got to recruit up and you've got to get rid of the fear. And look, I, 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 let me rephrase that. You, you're not going to get rid of the fear. I've made so many stinking millions of dollars in network marketing. And when I'm at that gas pump, I still have the same fear today that I did 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. The difference is courage. Courage is not acting when fear disappears, courage is acting in spite of the presence of fear. So you get cur you get courageous when you're getting ready to get evicted and you need to make money and you need to sign some people up. So you're gonna get courageous when you got that kind of motivation. Now, I don't, I've never had that motivation. I was never worried about getting evicted but I got courageous because I had massive, massive dreams and goals. And I was just super motivated by my why. So that motivated me. So whether it's positive or negative, whatever it is, find your courage and have those conversations. Now, what do you say? Well, you start with a compliment. And I've never, ever had anybody get mad at a compliment. Hey, I love your car. Hey, you know, I, those shoes, ooh, I need to get some for the, like, like that for my wife. Hey man, um, is that, what, what, what year is that the car? Uh, that, 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 that thing is badass. Just compliment somebody. 
Now it may stop there. It might you, you might hit a hit a wall after the compliment, but at least you get it going. See, recruiting is just a it's a conversation. It begins with a compliment, and then you take it wherever you can take it. Now, what I have found in my in the way I operate because I'm an introvert. Believe it or not, even though I'm speaking to hundreds of you right now, I'm an introverted person. So as an introvert, I I need help. I I need I need a crutch. And what do I do? What do I, what do I mean by that? Well, for example, I um, I met my wife on Match.com. I had to hide behind a computer and I had to uh, I had to use technology because I, I I have a hard time walking up to a girl at a bar or something like that and striking up a conversation. Now, if and when I ever did that, I had a crutch. I had a drink in my hand. Anybody ever walk into a room and like you walk into a party? and you don't have a drink in your hand. Now, I don't care if you drink alcohol or not, but when you walk in, your hands are just dangling down. You're like, you're like, you feel out of place because everybody's got a drink, everybody's all in their groove. And, 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 and what about you? You're like, well, you just walk into the party, you walk into the club, you walk into the bar, walk into the party, and, and you're like feeling like, Ugh. so you go right to the bar, right? Anybody, like, anybody else like me, just say, just say yo in the comments. If you can feel where I'm talking about, where you need to get that drink in your hand. Now, I'm not a big drinker. Now, I've, I've drank in my day, but I, I, I drink maybe once a month socially, like a drink or two. Otherwise, I, I, I can't. I mean, it takes me a whole day to recover, so I don't do it anymore. But uh, when I go out, I still need a drink in my hand. It's my crutch. I, I need it. It's like my shield. Like my my. Uh, so anyway, you get the drink in your hand, right? Now you feel more comfortable. And now you can have conversation more easily with people because you feel differently. Well, that's the way I felt when I was out prospecting people. I, out of the 1,600 recruits I personally brought into my business in, 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 my, in my tenure, uh, 1,600 recruits, I would say probably about 1,000 were done by phone or computer. And um, hundreds of them came from meeting people just out and about, just prospecting, three-foot rule. The three foot rule means that you talk to anybody that comes within three feet of you, right? That's pretty close by the way. Like if that was the case, you can't recruit anybody right now because it's a six foot rule right now in, in the world, <laughs> COVID social distancing. So, um, but I did, that, that wouldn't have mattered to me. You know why? Because I was so stinking motivated that I had a 30 foot rule. You came within 30 feet of me. That's like three times 10 feet. Like uh, 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 the floor to the basketball rim that, that 10 feet right there, three of those. So if somebody came within three, 30 feet of me, I'm like, I need to go talk to that person. That was how motivated I was. So um, the, the three or the 30 foot rule, uh, I, I, I wanted to talk to them. Of, of course, try, always trying to recruit up. If there's person A, person B, if person B was sharper, I went to B. Most network marketers go to A, the person that needs the opportunity that looks like they're broke. And then they recruit a bunch of broke people who can't even afford to get started. They can't afford to stay in the business and they complain about everything. But I went after the Bs, right? So, but I always, I needed a crutch. So back in the day, I would hand out an audio tape to them. I would compliment them, ask them what they do for a living. Hey, do you keep your income options open, open to side projects if the money's exciting enough? Now, by the way, that's a new twist. I used to say, hey, do you keep your income options open? Now, I said that for years. Hey, do you keep your income options open? Now, I, I, I cushion it, sandwich it with a few other words. Like, um, you, know, uh, you know, I see you do well for yourself. You know, I would talk to a guy who's driving a Beamer. Hey, I love that Beamer. Oh, man, you, you're successful. You're doing well for yourself. You know, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a IT specialist or I own my own, you know, landscaping company or, well, oh man, that's awesome. You know, you're entrepreneurial, obviously, or you're motivated or you're success oriented. Hey, do you keep your income options open? Because I'm working on a business project with some pretty successful entrepreneurs. Uh, they actually just brought me in on the on the project, and I'm and they're taking me under their wing because I've got a background in real estate. And I'm doing this on the side with them. Do you ever look at side projects? Again, do you ever look at side projects? I'm not asking somebody to gas pump if they want to quit their job. <laughs> do you ever look at side projects if the money's exciting enough? So that's the opening line. Do you keep your income? Write it down. Do you, somebody can drop it in the comments. Do you keep your income options open to side projects 
if the money isn't if the money is exciting enough. I don't care if he's driving a Bentley. Okay. That person driving a Bentley, if he said if he hears if the money's exciting enough. Now, for somebody driving a Toyota, an extra couple of grand a month might be exciting to them. Somebody's driving a Bentley, uh, another 50 grand a month might be what they need to hear that's exciting to them. Right. So that but that's my opening line. But then I still needed something. And so I would, at that point, I would say, hey, if I give you this audio cassette, will you pop it in and listen to it? That's what I used to say. Then I said, hey, if I give you this CD, will you pop it in and listen to it? Then we said, hey, when you, if I give you this DVD, will you take it home and watch the video that explains all about the project? We did that for a long time, which by the way, the biggest recruiting months in my personal team, in my history, in 22 years, my biggest recruiting months were between five and 6,000 recruits a month. And you know how we were doing that? Everybody was ordering a hundred of those recruiting DVDs every month on auto ship. And we would have a goal to get rid of them before the next box came in. A hundred DVDs a month, right? Um, but nowadays people aren't using DVDs as much. They don't really listen to CDs anymore. And so with satellite radio and digital, you know, Spotify and all kind of stuff. So, um, but I still, and I used to give out a success from home magazine. Anybody uh, on here right now, uh, anybody, or were you in a company that was ever featured in a magazine like success from home? Uh, my company was, so I would take those magazines. I would slap my sticker on it with my name and number and, and my, my website address or a lead capture, you know, website page with a link there. They can go, I get their information and I capture them first before they go in and take a look. And I would give that magazine out. And now I would, I would train on this all the time. And there's always somebody, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go out and hand out magazines to strangers. I'm like, I don't mind being a million dollar a year magazine giver outer. I don't mind that. If, if you, if you can't see yourself giving somebody a magazine or giving somebody a tool um, because it's beneath you. Okay. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying, I don't mind doing it. If it gets me the kind of results that it got me, which it did. I don't teach anybody to do what doesn't work. And I don't teach you guys because look, I got a lot of my team is on here right now. And I got a lot of people that are not even in my company in, in different companies all over the industry, all over the world that are watching right now. And we'll be watching this on Memorex. So I don't ever tell anybody to do something that's not the highest and best use of your time. Like why would I teach my team members to do an activity that is less than optimal. Like, why would I have them do something that's not gonna be the most productive? Because if I get paid on their productivity, why would I not teach them the best thing to do? So when I taught my team to hand out DVDs, I taught my team to hand out magazines. That's what we did. I've got you know somebody who's on here right now, a top executive director on my team came because he read a magazine and then hit me back, called me on the phone. I love what I read, right? But we don't have that magazine anymore. Um, but let me tell you a story, and I'm going to share something with you guys. This is so, so stinking wild. Um, I was talking to a prospect who was a lead. Uh, sometimes I bought leads. I bought a lot of leads over the, over the years from instantsuccessleads.net. If anybody wants to know where I get mine from, instantsuccessleads.net. Somebody can drop that in a comment for me. But I would get like 50 leads or whatever. I'd be working over a few days. And I was talking to a guy. He was like 50 years old, and he's got a wife and two kids, and his life was falling apart. And I mean, he was telling me all this on the phone, um, you know, because well, I asked him why he was looking for uh, um, a, a home-based business. And he's like, I work, I work 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day. Um, my wife never sees me. Our marriage is, is crumbling because we're just, we're never, we're never around. My kids are growing up without me. And so he's like, I, I need to do something. He tells me all this. I have him check out some information about our business. I follow up immediately after. What did you like best about what you saw? Actually, he heard, it, was a conference, it was a conference call. What did you like about what you, what you heard? Uh, well, you know, that, that, I don't think that's for me. What's not for you? Um, no, that, that business, I, 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 that's, not, that's not what I want to do. Oh, okay. Um, so what are you going to, I don't know. So I'm like, he, he's, he didn't like the whole, you know, network marketing, you know, home-based business, you know, recruiting people. Okay. So I'm like, Man, I, I'm trying to help, I, I, and he doesn't know who I am. And I'm not gonna be like, hey, do you know who you're listening to right now? Let me tell you who I am. I, I didn't go there, but 
I wanted to be like, come on, dude, let, let me help you. Like, I, I really can lock arms with you and I will help you get your life back, get your family seeing you around more and save that marriage that you want. He just didn't get it. So I started typing him an email because I, usually I just move on to the next person. You know, because I was some will, some won't just move on. But I'm like, I really want this person to do better in life. So I started typing an email to him, explaining the how the business model works and why it works and why he needs to do it. And uh, and it just it, this email just went like paragraph after paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. And I'm like, man, this is so good. I mean, if I if somebody wrote this to me, I'd be I'd be all over it. So so I sent him this email, and I'm like, man, I wish I could, I wish he heard that before he heard my company's presentation because he would have listened to it through a different ear, a totally different lens. But I, I, unfortunately, I didn't. I mean, he listened to the presentation, he formed his opinion. And then after that, everything I'm gonna say at that point, he's already came to his conclusion. He already came to it. So nothing I was gonna do to change that, more than likely. So, um, so that email, I'm like, uh, I need that email in people's hands before I, to show my opportunity. And that's where this came from. Check it out. Making my first 10 million, the story of money and leveraged income. I turned it into this little book. I was on a, on a, on a flight on a platinum trip with our company. And I handed uh, the manuscript to the book to my good friend, Darnell Self, who's a top industry leader um, and a million dollar earner. And I said, hey, would you mind reading this? I just walked down the aisle to his, his, uh, his seat. I was like, hey, read this. He brought it back to me about 15 minutes later. He goes, man, that's really good. I'm like, let me ask you a question. If, if we showed that, if, so, if we had a prospect read that before we showed them our opportunity, what do you think would happen? He goes, they'd be, they'd be seeing our opportunity in a different light. Exactly. See, how many of you all struggle with the same thing that I always struggled with, which is trying to get people that are close-minded to our business to look at our business with a closed mind, like their door of receptivity. Check this out. You guys looking at me here? And I should have told you guys at the beginning, um, I would encourage you just to be present. Like I can, I can see a lot of you guys and your eyeballs are over here and your eyeballs are over here. You got different tabs on your computer screen. You got your phone in your, in your hand and you got your computer that you're watching me, but you might not be fully paying attention. We're only going to be on here for a handful of more minutes. So um, lean in with me here. I'm trying to help you guys to grasp something that can make you uh, very successful. Okay. So when people are like this and you're trying to get them to see your opportunity. They're like this. What if you can get their door of receptivity open first, and then you show them your opportunity. Now they can see it. They can hear the brilliance of it, but they need to appreciate the network marketing model first. They need to know why they need to do something different. They might not think that they need to do something different right now. Oh, my life is good. I got a good job. My bills are getting paid. My kids have shoes on. Like that's kind of how they might be thinking. They don't know that there's a, a world of abundance out there, just just out, just inches away from their fingertips, just 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 out of reach. But if they had leveraged income, if they had residual income, and if they could get rid of any possible stigma, see in that in the in the book, you guys understand. In this book, I actually completely take away the stigma about network marketing because I give the analogy of how it's exactly like the real estate model. And nobody ever says that real estate brokers are, are at the top of a pyramid scheme. They don't, they don't, they don't look at it that way. So I annihilate the, oh, is, that's a pyramid scheme thing. So now when they look at your opportunity, they're not looking at it like it's a pyramid scheme. Matter, that, matter of fact, they're like, oh my gosh, I hope this, I hope this is network marketing like the book was talking about. So that's why I wrote Making My First 10 Million. So in the same fashion, what if you were having, uh, uh, you see somebody, you compliment them, you ask them the question and you say, hey, look, I don't know if you're a big reader or not, but I'm working on a project and um, I would like you to take, uh, take this book home with you. 
I, I always carry a couple extra copies with me. I'm working with some very, very successful entrepreneurs. And what this book talks about is what we do. If I give you this book, would you take it home? If I will, you. if I give you this book, will you take it home and read it? Take, or you can read it probably when you pull over where you're going. It's, it's like a five, 10 minute read. Um, you want a, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Okay, perfect. And then what do you got to do, guys? This is key. This is key. You got to get their phone number. Now you're going to put your information in the back. So I got a sticker in the back here. I got a sticker in the back. It's got my name, my, my phone number, and my, my uh, lead capture page, or my or you can put your website address, whatever you want to put in there. But I'm not going to leave my, my destiny in, 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 in that person's hands. So I'm going to ask for that person's phone number. So I'll say, well, fantastic. I, I know you're going to enjoy the book. Matter of fact, I, I would love to chat with you to hear your thoughts about the book. Matter of fact, um, let me do this. Let me get my phone out here. Um, I, I put my phone number in the back of the book. So you can just give me, give me a, a buzz or give me a, or shoot me a text. What number are you going to call me from? Because I don't take calls from people, uh, people's numbers I don't recognize. I don't look down on my phone and I'm not going to look up and I'm going to be quiet. And that person is going to give me the number because they don't like awkward silence. I just get their number. Okay, great. Hey, have a great day. I look forward to hopefully connecting soon. I'd love to hear, what you, hear your thoughts about the book. So guys, let me do this. Um, I'm going to go out to some people that you probably, if you can see them on your screen right now, which I don't know if you can see them yet. Uh, Ace and Gina Fair out in Nevada, Nevada, Nevada. Um, you can tell that they, that they know me because uh, you, you would think that they are my mannequins and that I dress them. Uh, They're wearing a shirt that I love, which is I love my residual income. And they got my building an empire hat on right now. And so I want to go out to uh, Ace and Gina. If you guys would, um, I know you guys have used the Making My First 10 Million book, uh, and I asked them to come on. So this is set up. We didn't, uh, there's nothing rehearsed here. I say, would you guys mind jumping on at this given time and share with people how you've been using the book? And just be, just, just, just be real. So Ace and Gina, I appreciate y'all jumping on and you tell it. Can you add some flavor to what I'd share with you and what kind of results have you guys been getting using it as a, as a crutch, as a tool? Absolutely, Mr. Crothers. And we brought some proof. There's another gentleman. He's waving his hand. His name is Gary Porsche. And Hi, Gary. actually, three years ago, uh, we were at a networking event together, an uh, after work event. Uh, and I walked up to him and I said, hey, you know, how you doing? And we exchanged business cards. And I said, hey, uh, let me ask you a question. Do you like to read? And he said, yes. I said, well, I have a book that I like to give everybody that I meet that I really like. Let me show it to you and you let me know if you'd like it or not. And I said, there it goes. And he said, yes, I'd like to read that. I said, awesome. Let's, uh, let's catch up sometime and, and go from there. And uh, as time went on, we, I followed up with him and we had coffee at a Panera Bread. I'll never forget it. And he said, you know, I think I want to do something with you. I said, what do you want to do? And we talked about my company. And guess what? A few years later, he's in our business. And uh, last month, Mr. Crothers, you can appreciate this. He was number top 10 in producing uh, out of our top 40 people in our business, in our whole business. So all because he started with this book. I have another good friend of ours that right when we really started giving these out, because we've been, you wrote the book in 2013, we started giving them out in earnest, no pun off my name, in 2014. And about a year later, I met a gentleman who was a retired colonel in the military. And uh, we met each other and had pleasantries. We lost track. He didn't really know what I did. And I saw him again, again at a, at a networking event for business people. And I said, hey, Man, do you like to read? He's like, yes. I said, well, I'd like to give you a copy of this book. And of course, we exchanged business cards. He took it. And then he called me a few days later, Mr. Crothers. Now, he didn't even know what company, what we did. And he called me after he read the book and said, okay, what are we doing? And that was his exact words. What are we doing? And again, active member uh, in our business today still. So all in all, <laughs> Every year we give out hundreds of these books. So you can imagine last year was a little interesting. Uh, thanks for your ingenuity with the digital, but man, we give out hundreds of these 
every year to the tune that it even helps us make membership sales or sales of our products and services. Mr. Crothers, that's the amazing part. One year, and we have not tracked it since. I believe in 2017, we look back and every product that we sold, that person had read this book first. Even though they didn't become a distributor of ours, they had read this book first. They still understood what we were doing. They bought our, our, our product and then gave us referrals because they wanted to help grow our business genuinely. And then uh, the last thing I'll say is that obviously we've recruited hundreds of people personally because of the Green Book, but more importantly, so is our team. So Gina, you want to add something to that? Yeah, I, I, what I really feel about this book is I, I find it to be a filter or a way to sort people out. Uh, when, we, when we give these out, we say it's a gift. This is a gift that we give those that we enjoy uh, meeting. And then of course, what happens is that in our network marketing industry, a lot of times, even when we get free gifts, it's usually a product of that person or whatever it is. And so they're like, oh, okay, you want me to have this whatever because you wanna sell me something. But when we give this book, it's so universal. It's so universal, they feel number one, special. Uh, number two, they feel like they, there's a way for it. We have to stay connected because this is, this is a, a money value. So when they see that uh, see a book, they know it's not free. So they know we paid for it. Yep. So there's, it's just a whole nother level of exposure. And so it's a great product to give out to your reds or the, you know, when you're recruiting up, because a lot of them will read things like this. They, they're always look, looking at wealth concepts. So when they take a look at this and they go, ah, if I've never heard of the network marketing industry, that's, this is very interesting. So by the time we have a next conversation, uh, the door is open. As you had mentioned earlier, instead of being this, they start to kind of crack the door open and they're open to the conversation. So we really get it out. Uh, we, um, we, of course, we give out a lot of your, your books as well for the really high level uh, prospects that we have. Uh, we send it out today. And a lot of times, not only do we get referrals, we get recruits as well. So it's there. Absolutely. And to kind of wrap up, Mr. Crothers, we got some recent stories. Uh, I was in an airport in September and I fly about every three weeks uh, to Chicago, check on our house. And I was actually coming through the airport in Chicago. And by the way, I wear this shirt every day. I wear it every day, not, th not the same one. <laughs> Not the same one. I have seven of them. I have three black ones, two blue, gray. And by the way, that's kind of gray, blue, Mr. Gray Brothers. Blue. Uh, and, and, and I have three purple ones. And so I was wearing the blue, gray one through the airport. And a guy came up running after me and said, hey, you love your residual income. What's that all about? What, what do you do? I didn't even really, I actually told him my company name. He had never heard of us. And, and then I said, hey, let me ask you a question. Because he had to get to his flight. But his, his wife saw the shirt and said, go after that guy. <laughs> and so he stopped me and I said, hey, do you like to read? He said, yes. And this, I had my mask on. He had his mask <laughs> on. Okay. And I said, have you seen this book before? He's like, no. I said, if I were to give you a copy, would you, would you like it and read it? He said, yes. I said, great. Here you go. And I wasn't even finesse about it. I said, so what's your phone number? And I just <laughs> typed it into my phone. No finesse, no finesse. We, I followed up with the guy. I found out, Mr. Crothers, that he was an, an attorney in the Maryland area and he was $700 an hour. And a few weeks later, he actually uh, bought, our, bought our product and he joined the team. He and his wife joined the team. And there you go. So I don't know, around that time of year, Ms. Crothers, I don't know if you knew this, but then I made another order of like three or four more shirts, by the way, with my profits. So uh, there you go. And then last but not least, uh, I just I just sold a, two products today. One was from a gentleman that I met at my chamber just before the pandemic hit, and I had given him this book. And I just got to him today things have been going on. We've been keeping up with each other. And he just uh, bought our product today. And I had another gentleman that I met last Tuesday. And I know we're not talking about this. We're talking about physical tools. By the way, I like this more than I like the digital. Obviously, I had to use the digital because of, you know, the pandemic. 
but I really, it, it was tough for me the first few months, not being out there giving this, this is my business card. I stopped giving out business cards. This is my business card. Yeah, you and want to so, make sure that you put the uh, phone number in the back because I've had people that I gave the book to, absolutely. but they weren't the one that actually called me. They put it down and then somebody right. else picks it up and yes. somebody else reads it. And so it, yep. it's, it's a business card that grows legs because people yes. don't throw books away. Absolutely, absolutely. You got to have your label in there. Whether you have a simple one or fancy one, doesn't really matter. You have to have it in there. And so, yeah, I, I, I met a gentleman last week gave him a book uh, just to start a conversation. And he was all into personal development, has a traditional business, but loves reading. And today he said, well, Ace, you know, I don't think I want to be a distributor yet, but why wouldn't I buy your product and, and support you? You've already given me referrals to my business. And so this is a great tool to give entrepreneurs, whether they're in our profession of network marketing or not. Because again, entrepreneurs, for the most part, like to read, they like gifts, and now it's not your product or search. Even though you got samples, it's not the same thing because they know that you really have a giving spirit in earnest once again when you're giving them this. So, um, that, hey, I, I love it, guys. Yes, and, and by the way, Mr. Crothers, this is, and I know you're spiritual, so I got, my wife just whispered this to me. So, Three days ago, we just started a 100 exposure campaign with these. Nice, nice. <laughs> just three days ago. And, and we wanted, we told people to start at the end of the month. Don't wait till May 1st. And so run from now until May 24th when we right have our, our Monday night calls with this. And, uh, and well, I got to tell it. you. I, we got a lot of questions I got to answer in the, in the chat. Okay. Real quickly, uh, first of all, Gina, you're looking amazing. Uh, so, uh, and, and, and would you get one of you guys, would you stand up and let them see the back of the shirt? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Did you see it? So, I mean, you, you're a walking billboard, both sides of you. They got, you got them coming, you got them going, right? I mean, it's like, yep. so anyway, that's awesome. I appreciate you, uh, sharing your stories. I mean, yeah, I, we, I, we wear these shirts for everywhere. trade shows. We wear them um, everywhere. I, I'll go to my chamber and have on this shirt and a suit. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a great icebreaker. Now I appreciate know? you guys very much sharing this uh, so givingly. Like you like is that is that a word givingly? Yep. Yeah. It sure is, is Mr. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got yeah. A good word. Hey, by the way, look. If anybody, if you, even if you're like, I, I I'm still too afraid. Like I, I don't know if I could tell uh, give a book. To, here's the, look. Check this out. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, let me see here. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it looks like a stand. Yes. Because of my, my background, my backdrop. Oh, right, there you go. Yep. Yes. Take a free book. Put these little acrylic stands. Yeah. You can stick it on a counter at your dry cleaner. And it, yep. says, uh, it says free book, take one. And just make, yep. sure, you, make sure information's in there. But, but so uh, let, me, let me do a screen share. I'm going to show you guys where uh, makingmyfirst 10 million.com. I dropped it in the chat. Somebody else can drop it in the chat for me real quick. That'd be great. Makingmyfirst 10 million.com is where you can get it. They're three dollars, but I don't want you buying them for three dollars. So let me show you something real quick. Screen share. All right. So can you guys see this? Yes. Okay. So check this out. Uh, this is making my first ten million .com. And as you scroll down here, over a half a million sold so far. We've got to update that. That's that's a while ago. Yeah. Um, this audio right here, I had 12 of the top recruiters in the entire industry in multiple companies that year. Uh, this is several years ago. I got them on an interview and I taped it and they shared exactly how they were recruiting so many people. Some of them were recruiting 20 plus people a month using this book. So listen to that audio. I think you'll love it. Okay. Making my first million.com. You'll find it there. And then come down here. This is my introduction and exactly why and how the book is written and designed and how, how to use it. Come down here and it's, uh, uh, let's see here. Get on my newsletter, by the way. If you're not on my newsletter, if you're not on my email list, get in here. Um, but let me show you this. Go to buy now. It's going to take you to my store. Okay. It's $3 here. But you can get them uh, in, in quantity discounts. So instead of $3, get 10, uh, 10 for $2, 50 for $1.50, 
or a hundred for a hundred dollars. So just click there for a hundred dollars, for example. Okay, you're just gonna add it to the cart and you'll see it there for a hundred dollars. Now check this out, go to my store. I want you to see something in here. By the way, that shirt, it's only 22 bucks for the shirt that you guys just saw uh, the, uh, Ace and Gina wearing. So check that out. Now, Ace mentioned the digital book. So these books, you can buy them for anywhere from $3 down to a dollar. I don't want you buying, a, don't buy one book. I mean, come on, like just trust in this, Go get a box of books and give yourself a goal of going, going out and getting out two a day, three a day, five a day, whatever the case is. Get your kids to give them out. I mean, my, my son Talon, uh, throughout those last several years of his life, whenever we traveled, I had him walking up to people. Hey, my dad wants you to have this book when I was too chicken. Okay, whatever, you know, put your kids to work, but check this out. So you see this one that says EV Pro? Click on that. And this is the Empire Builders Pro app I designed for the specific purpose originally for people to be able to take this Making My First 10 Million book and send it out digitally. I said, look, I'm going to spend the money to develop an app, which is not easy and quick to do, um, so that people can actually send out this digital copy for $20 a month, and you can send out unlimited copies of the book. Let me, let me share with you, Full click here for full description. Check this out. And this is important. I want you all to see the visual of this. Now you'll see the app here. And you can watch the video, learn all about it. But this is the app where you can send the book. Now here's, the, here's where I want you guys to pay attention. I've got other assets like these, why become an entrepreneur video, power of a part-time business video, tax advantages of a home-based business. Great videos are also put in the app. But look at this right here. You guys see that? Thumbs up, you can see it? Okay, so you start with the book. It opens their door receptivity, and then you show them your company presentation. Try to close them. Some will, some won't. Then you put them into the automatic recruiting email campaign in the app, and it's going to automatically start sending out these three videos and a whole bunch of other stuff over the course of the next 12 months. Somewhere along the way, they either reach out to you or you do your typical follow-up and you reach out to them. Now you might reach out to them, uh, you know, three, four, five, six weeks from now, and they've already seen the first couple of videos. They've read the digital book, whatever, and now they're like getting marinated. Like the steak wasn't ready to go on the grill just yet when you first met them. Steak was brand new, just out of the butchers, but they it wasn't ready. It needed to be marinated a little bit. They needed to get a little seasoning. That's what this email campaign is going to do for you. Okay. Uh, and by the way, if you're not using the tax savings estimator to show them how much money they'd be saving in taxes every year if they just had a home-based business, then you're missing out on closing ratio that should be a lot higher because you show them how much by them typing in numbers of what they spend each month on gas and internet and meals and, and if they take trips or their, uh, you know, uh, what their uh, home office percentage of their house is, that percentage of their mortgage and, and household cleaning should be written off. But if you show them that they'd be saving thousands of dollars a year just by paying the fee to get started up in a home-based business with you, it's a slam dunk alley-oop, bam, like it's Grant Hill. It's it's LeBron. It's whoever your favorite dunker is, right? You know, Sean Kemp back in my day. So that's what the um, Empire Builders Pro app has in it. Again, you can send out the, the book digitally and it's tracked so you'll know what they read and how much, when they read it and how much they read. You'll get a notification, which is great. But let me, let me come back out here to the store. Um, for anybody that does not know that I just did this months ago, check this out. So the Empire Builders Pro is 20 bucks a month and you can send out the book or the videos separately. And the, I mean, so many resources in there, prospecting resources, training resources, audios you can listen to, trainings. I mean, all kinds of stuff, 20 bucks a month. But I recently launched Empire, the uh, Empire Builders Vault for $39 a month. It's the creme de la creme. It's everything. Everything I have ever done, everything I will ever do. Remember, uh, you as a member of the vault, you get access to everything. Let me show you something here. You're going to get the app included for, for free. You get this $400 Network Marketing Leadership Academy with me and Darnell Self doing six hours of how to become a leader in network marketing training. I've been told by many people it is the best they've ever heard in the industry. Now, you know, obviously that's subjective. Um, I I'm flattered to hear that. 
uh, the top recruiter secrets training. This is a full training on recruiting, just, just how to be a top recruiter. People love that one. Time masters on time management. As a network marketer, I know everybody struggles with time management. Facebook for network marketing, a uh, pr product that you guys might enjoy. This one is, is, is the big daddy. Uh, $500 locker room training program. It's a five hour uh, training I did. Um, I, I mean, I got friends of mine that were there when I filmed it. I had I filmed it live. I got one of my friends that was there who was making five grand a month. He's averaging 300,000 a month in his company right now. I'm not saying it was the only thing that, but he tells me a lot, when we talk, he's like, I remember that day that I remember that event, man, locker room training, uh, all that's in there. Money, the money mindset audio is in there. Everything is in that vault. So if you guys want to go to briancrillers.com, go to the store, get in the vault. It's month to month, or you can pay a year up front and save, uh, you can get two months free or whatever. But I would definitely get in the vault so you get everything I just talked about. Okay. And anybody who's in the vault, um, we didn't have a planner this year because of COVID. The planner company that does the Nemo planner for network marketers, they did they couldn't source the they couldn't source it. So, but guess what? Uh, we've taken that over, and what's going to be great is we're making it even better. Uh, things that I didn't like about it personally that I needed to lay flat, I needed to have more space to write. So um, everybody uh, is going to, that's in the vault is going to get a free planner for 2022 and it's going to be sent well in advance of the end of this year so uh just as a 45 dollar value whatever that is so anyway just want to show that to you guys so let me come back out of here go to if you want to just start with what we just talked about go to making my first 10 million.com check out that top recruiter training uh recording uh, i think you'll get great tips just from that if you don't want to buy a book you don't want to get into the vault you don't want to do any of that stuff then at least just take some free training, listen to those 12 top recruiters telling everybody what they were doing to recruit so many people. Go get some more free stuff if you don't wanna spend any money. You, get, you have to be willing to invest, okay? And, and I'm not saying just because I'm one here trying to sell you something. I'm saying invest in yourself, invest in your growth, invest in your business, invest in tools, invest in tools like the books or whatever, invest. Uh, the, you know, I'd rather invest in my business then invest in crypto or stocks or real estate because my business is my cash cow that's going to give me the cash flow that I can funnel into all those passive investments. So, um, the last thing I want to just wrap up with, guys, hey, so brothers, here, before you before you say that you you did not ask us to make this statement, and since this is a generic call and you're you're our foster mentor, we got to say this. So, uh, coming out of a huge network marketing event, and some folks might have guessed it. Uh, in December last year, we decided to form two mastermind groups, like an A and a B group. And, and I got to tell you, I told these folks that if they wanted to be in the mastermind group, they had to buy the vault when it came out. They had to, because it just made good sense. If you buy it for a year, you get two months free, and then you throw in the planner, that's like getting three months freaking free. And we don't get paid for saying this, all right? So don't anybody think whatever. We don't get paid for saying this. And not only that, but it gives you the digital books. And Mr. Crothers, I got to tell you this. As of today, every time I meet somebody and give them a green book, I bought green. My wife bought me three by five green cards. And I put their information on there because I'm a physical touchy guy. If you see that, that says 101. Since April 1st, I've given out 101 digital books. So if they cost me a dollar a book, that's a hundred dollars. That that more than pays for my 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 EB Pro for my for my for my uh vault. Yep. And not only that, but I've already recruited one of these people. I recruited, I recruited number nine right away. And then I just sold memberships to a couple of them today. Services. I got too fired up. So, you know, I, I, that's what I did. And I, I'm a, I, I, need, I, need, I need to, I need to hire you guys. You guys, are, you guys I, are my I spokespeople. You, I just, I, I, I'm just, man, that's all I got. I apologize. I had to say that, so Mr. No, Cruz. I had to say that. You got to be crazy not to do this. I'm just, 
I apologize, Mr. Carthy, but I had to tell you that. I just had to tell you. Because I knew he you does. didn't know. He and, does, and, and, Yeah, so there you, you know, go. And here's the thing. I mean, you, you can't fake belief. Um, and, and, and belief comes from truth, right? You're, 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 you're living your truth. You're walking your walk. You're talking your talk. And you're getting results. And you're teaching others how to do the same thing. And that's, that's absolutely phenomenal. And, and I want to remind everybody, you know, I, uh, we, we value uh, what we spend our hard earned money on. You know, you know if, if you give a kid a bike, he throws it on the ground when he's done with it. He pays for it himself after he had to save up and, uh, you know, cut lawns and, and shovel driveways and, and save up for it. You know, the kid shines it every week. You know, at the end of the day, you know, um, when, my, when people have given me books, sometimes it goes right above my book, bookshelf. Hey, another book, let me put it up there. But when I buy a book, I'm like, I got 15 bucks. I got 20 bucks out of my pocket. I'm going to read the daggone thing, right? So it's the you know, same kind of thing. I'm not telling you to go sell these, make my first 10 million books to people. I'm, I'm saying, but you got to be willing to invest in yourself because the more vested you are, look, it costs a hundred bucks to get started in my company. hundred bucks, they got no skin in the game. So I hope people, when they join my company, I hope that they're buying tickets to events. I hope that they're buying tools or they're, buying, they're going to seminars or uh, I hope they're, they're spending more money to just get just more vested in the process. So guys, uh, Ace and Gina, thank you so much for sharing from your heart tonight. Everybody that's watching it, that's watched this tonight, um, I would encourage you um, to go listen to that top recruiter training on makingmyfirst10million.com. Um, don't get one book if you're going to get them. Just just go ahead and just just get a, a you know a ten or a box of fifty or hundred or whatever. And just get the price down. I'm all about saving money. So if you can save, you know, get 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 them for a buck instead of three dollars. Just 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 get a box of them out there. And by the way, fortunes in the follow up. Notice that Gina and Ace are actually getting cards made and they're doing their follow up calls. You know, you can't be like, don't just wait for somebody to call you back after they read the book. Some will, by the way. I I, I see. I hear that plenty, but some of the better ones are so busy that they might intend to, but they forget you got to follow up, follow up the same day you give them the book. And then if they haven't read it yet, follow up a few days later um, and stick them in your, you know, stick them in your, uh, the, the EB pro campaign. So they, they get the digital one as well. And they start getting some, my, my why become an entrepreneur videos and all that. So anyway, guys, um, look, we are in a special time right now. Um, some of the ways of COVID are not going to go away. There are going to be more people that are going to work from home now more than there were a year ago before COVID hit. Like some people don't want to go back to an office, to a cubicle, to whatever they were doing. So we're in a new normal, um, but the new normal is going to be a hybrid. We want to ma match high tech and high touch. Okay. High tech and high touch. Work from home. You're in a home based business, but not a home bound business. So get out and about. You can compliment somebody on Facebook and strike up a conversation, just like you can compliment somebody at a Starbucks or a gas station and strike up a conversation. And you're going to use a crutch. If it's going to help you make the conversation and bring value to somebody, the perceived value, like Gina was talking about, giving somebody a book that they know you spent money to buy, they appreciate that. They recognize that instantly. But figure out what, and if it's not this, whatever, find something that's truly third party that's not your company's propaganda. Because if you're giving out your company brochure, your company information, then you're, you're handing them a sales pitch right away. The making my first 10 million has not, nothing to do with your company. There's no sales pitch. So it's truly third party. They truly have an open door, an open mind to what you're now going to show them that they want to hear. I love you all. You guys are my family. I hope that I can be a foster mentor for all of you, no matter what company you're in no matter where you are, just have a goal right now, immediate term, rank advance, rank advance. Just get a goal to go to the next rank in your compensation plan. Just rank advance as soon as you possibly can. Get the next rung on the ladder knocked out because the only way to get to the top of a mountain is one step at a time. Have a great night, guys. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Do you guys want to give it a little